Yeah, hello and welcome to my today's review and comparison of the latest Venero video heads and video tripods, which are kind of a part of a value series from Venero because the heads, uh, especially in, in combination with the tripods as kits, are really cheap. For example, I got my A3573 FS6 kit, or, or let's say it's actually priced around 280 bucks. So check it out. And the big pro of, about these kits is that they are equipped with flat base mounts, so you don't have a bulky 75mm half bow and also the tripods are lightweight and, and very small if you pack them down. And so, for example, the head is also usable on any other tripod, on any slider, on any chip, crane, wherever you want to use it without a 75mm half bow mount adapter. And also the tripods are really nice because they are very stable, I have to say, they have a not not a 75 millimeter half bow, but they have a smaller 60 or 70 millimeter half bow. So you still have the option to, to level everything, which is also nice for, for panorama shooting, for macro shooting, if you mount, for example, a geared head on it, because you can adjust everything and then fine adjust it after the, the pre-adjustment with the leveling base and so on. So check out the kits, especially the FS6 kit. Um, and yeah, but to get back to this review, um, as you can see here, I have all hats lying here. The S6 hat, which is usable up to six kilograms, or which has a max payload up to six kilograms, let's say it this way. We S4 hat with up to four kilograms and the S2 hat with up to two kilograms of max payload. And uh, which is also quite important, I also added the 577 Manfrotto quick release system with the original 5.1 PL plate because um, the S6 and the S4 hats are using such 501 PL compatible plates and I will show you the differences and why for example I prefer the original ones. Yeah, I will show you this in a few minutes uh, within the first part. But before I, I go on with this review I want to mention a few points. The first point is um, that I want to tell a little bit about the structure of this video. First I will show you the, the hats, the pros and cons of each hat and as said the, the differences in between the original and the venerable plates. Then I will also show you the A3573F tripod, which I got as set already as a kit together with the S6 head, and which is also really nice. And at the end, I will show you a little bit of footage shot with the heads, although I'm not sure if I will add any footage of the S2 head because there are too many cons and too many problems with the S2 head. And so all in all, at this point, I, I can already, already mention that um, I can't recommend the S2 hat all in all, but yeah, you will see it within a few minutes. Then the second point I wanted to mention, it, that's a really important point. If you think about getting the ben all in all Benro stuff, not only this hat here, if you want Benro stuff or are interested in it, uh, buy locally. Because there are a few points, because um, overseas, dealers are maybe a little bit cheaper, but then uh, may, many people forget about the import uh, fees, import VAT. They forget that the, the support is very complex if you have to, to send it back, for example, to China or so. And there's also a very, very important point, the warranty. Benro is only giving warranty uh, if you buy at an authorized dealer. So if you buy uh, at a dealer, which uh, isn't authorized officially by Benro, you you don't have a warranty at all, or you only get a six month or one year warranty directly from a dealer. So I highly recommend to buy locally. And yeah, by the way, I got this stuff here from Seven Days Live, which um, is, an, is the official German dealer from, for Bender stuff. So there you also get the six year warranty, by the way. And they also give nice rebates if you buy more often there or if you make a bigger order like me here, for example. And so ask for it and check out their online store. I will add uh, a link at the, within the, the description. So as said, check it out. And the third and last point I wanted to mention is, as always, this is a review. This is no presentation um, which shows you the, the functionality like um, I'm the producer and uh, yeah, I, I want to show you every aspect of the heads and every aspect of the tripod. So if you don't have the time uh, to watch it now, save it or yeah, save the link and watch it later because yeah, this is again as always quite long or this will be as always quite long, let's say it this way. 
Okay, this is the last point I wanted to mention, so let's begin with the review. Yeah, okay, so let's have a look at the first part of this review, the heads itself. And first I want to show you the smallest one, the S2 head with up to 2, two kilograms of payload. And all in all, this head is comparable, for example, to the 128RC from Manfrotto, for example. So this is a head without a, a counterbalance spring system. And here is the first big problem, because without such a counterbalance system, the problem is, for example, you're using a camera with a battery at the back or with a photo focus at the front. And yeah, more you can't mount because the head is only usable very good up to one kilogram or 1.5 maybe, but not two kilograms. So think about this point if you're considering buying, if you consider to buy this head. And yeah, the problem is uh, as soon as you as you uh, use an angle downward or, or if you want to shoot downward or upward with this head, the problem is that the head is slowly going down or, or slowly going upwards or to the back, let's say this way, because there is no counterbalance spring. And so you have to use every time this uh, tilt, drag and lock control knob here and you're losing every time your maybe perfectly adjusted drag position you, you want to shoot with. So, you, so if you have to reposition the camera very, very often, this head is all in all not that uh, usable, I think. And this is also a little bit of a problem with the 701 HDV from, from, from Manfrotto, for example, which is quite popular. And also with the S4 head, because they also don't have a separate, separate lock for the tilting, but at least they have a counterbalance spring system. So think about this point because this, this is one of the major differences between such a cheap head and the next level like we 701 HGB and the S4 I already mentioned. Yeah, so, um, but all in all, it's quite well built. It's lightweight. It's not that huge and bulky and it's maybe usable and nice to use with small camcorders or with small system cameras which are quite lightweight because then you don't have to to lock down this button here because here we are at the next point which is a little bit of a problem because the drag system is already very very stiff and also if you open it up completely and maybe this this is yeah one of the design points uh Benero, yeah wanted to 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 achieve because as soon as you loosen it up completely as you can see here it's still very very stiff as you can see here it's quite hard to move the head and here is the point um, the, the second point i wanted to mention the drag system is maybe a little bit too stiff for one or other shooter out there because um, yeah you cannot move that fast with this head but it's possible to to move it very precise so yeah okay but uh yeah and before i forget it um also the we panning is not adjustable and is also quite stiff and the stiffness is, is about the same so at least the head is usable um, as a very precise head also with longer focal lengths okay although there is a little bit of a problem also with the with the panning control because um, th and this is also the case with the S4 head, there is a little bit of a setback. So if you're moving the head uh, in one direction and want to hold a position, so you're removing your hand from the handle, uh, the head is sitting a little bit to the back. So example, for example, you f you're moving to a position and then boop, it's jumping back one millimeter or so. And this is, but this is only the case with the with the panning, and not the case with the tilting. So um, vertically, it's absolutely no problem because, um, yeah, uh, vertically, it's working like a charm. Okay, um, now I will show you also a few um, the, 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 uh, features a little bit more in detail. So here is we have the handle, which is a little bit cheap, uh, but it's, it's usable and, um, or let's say it feels a little bit cheap, but it's usable because the padding is also quite nice and is helping a little bit to stop, start and stop more smoothly. You can adjust uh, the angle here, although it's not possible to move the handle on the other side because there is no mounting option. And so you can also, it's also not possible to, to add a second handle. But okay, yeah, not that of a big con, I think. But here we, we come to the 
first huge problem of we we quick release system in, uh, or no I'm now I think at the second or third huge problem. The first was we missing counterbalance spring. The second was we uh, set back of we horizontal panning. And now I will show you um, the third con, and this is we quick release plate. We uh, QR plates are um, a little bit of a bad quality, as you already see here. <laughs> My pin fall out. Um, as I used it we, we second or third time, which is maybe only a production problem, but uh, also not yeah, that nice to see. And But the huge, huge problem with this uh, quick release plate is that the coding is crap. Because as soon as you slide it in, it's sometimes stuck. And especially as, as, as you're using it with a bigger camera system or a rig, and you want to adjust it quite detailed or precise, let's say this way, uh, yeah, the coding is really annoying, and and this is also the case, for example, with the uh, 501 PL compatible plates, which are used with the S4 and the S6 head. Although there you have at least the option to get, for example, the original Manfrotto plate, and yeah, this one, the original ones are way better. Okay, this is the first problem, or yeah, the second problem after the missing pin, uh, and the third problem is. Um, Okay, you cannot use a bigger screw, uh, no, sorry, bigger coins to, to mount it. You need to use uh, very small coins. So um, it's also not that nice uh, compared to the 501PL compatible plates and the 5PL original plates, which are compatible also to bigger um, coins. And also a problem is that this plate isn't compatible to any other system I know. So this is a proprietary plate system and so it's not that's nice to use compared to the 501 PL plates for which you get very cheap quick release bases or you can even use this original 577 base here for example. So yeah all in all yeah it's usable and it's nice to, to have a, a sliding mechanism although this, the coding is a little bit annoying as already said. Yeah it's at least usable and it's also not possible um, to use a 3 to 8 inch screw here because there yeah there is no such screw included and it, the only possibility you have is to uh, to add an adapter from quarter inch 20 here to 3 to 8 inch this, this is possible but it's not included now let's get to to this side again uh, as already said here is the locking and yeah the rest i already showed you the leveling bubble is also quite nice by the way uh, because yeah, not many tripods uh, are equipped, especially the cheaper ones are not equipped with such leveling bubbles. Yeah, um, I think I forgot nothing. I wrote a few points here, maybe I forgot something. Yeah, okay, also not recommendable is the kit system, the A1573 FS2 kit, because as, as you already saw, the head um, has its problems, especially yeah, to say it again, we, we missing spring system, we, um, yeah, setbacks of we, of we um, ground plate, so of we panning. We quick release plate is a little bit annoying and also with the fact that it's a little bit too stiff and that you only have one screw to lock and to adjust the dampening system. Yeah, there are too many problems and uh, the second point why I don't recommend the kit is the A1573 FS2 kit is because we, we tripod is also very, very small and a little bit too weak. So if you if you want the tripod not only for shooting video and you want to use it because it's equipped with a leveling base and so it's also quite nice to use with other equipment, um, I recommend to get at least the A2573 FS4 together with the S4 head. Yeah, okay. So also don't get the, the kit system because it's too weak. Okay, this is it of we S2 head. Um, I'm already this is already quite long, but I think I, I showed you every aspect and why I don't I don't recommend we S2 head. And as already said, I, I don't want to show you only the features. I want to show you why I don't recommend it, and on which which points you maybe also um, have to think about if you buy or if you're interested in, in other video heads. Okay, so this was the S2 hat and now I will show you the S4 hat. 
Well, so let's have a look at VS4 hat, which is kind of a middle solution in between VS2 hat and VS6 hat with up to four kilograms of payload. And you maybe already recognize that it. it's looking like V701 HTV from Manfrotto. And it's also comparable feature-wise with a 701 HTV hat. But yeah, all in all, yeah, you will see because of one point that V701 HTV is better compared to directly. But yeah, the quality is very high, I have to say. The quick release system is also compatible to 501 PL plates, so very universally usable, and you can also use the original plates. And yeah, but first of all, I want to show you the heads, head a little bit um, more in detail, and then each part, the pros and cons of each part, and, and also why I recommend the 701 HDV over the S4 head. So let's begin at the handle again. The handle is the same as the handle of the S2 head, I think, or at least it's, it has the same shape and the same dimensions. And yeah, it's also padded, so it's, uh, it's usable very fluidly as, and it's, it supports uh, your movements a little bit. And here we can uh, adjust the angle of the, the, the handle. You can move it to the other side, as already mentioned, and use the second handle as you want to have two handles. Here we have the unlock knob and the quick release system. And here we have the, the same problem with the quick release plate, like with the plate of the S2 head. Although here is the big pro, it's compatible to the original 501 plates, for example, from Manfrotto. And yeah, here is also the big pro that you can use this plate on other accessory, which is compatible to, to 501 PL plates, for example, on quick release plates or on this 5, uh, not, no 501, on this 577 plate for, for aesthetic cam and so on. But the big problems, problem here is also the coding because we, we plate isn't sliding that easily and that smoothly and also the quality is all in all not comparable to the 501, original 501 PL plates. And so I highly recommend to get such a 501 PL plate or you can also get the even longer and bigger 501 P long plate. I think it's a little bit longer and it's also compatible normally to this head here. And with this original 501 PL plate, um, yeah, it's better, I think, because the coding is better and it's sliding much more easily into the head. And yeah, so all in all, a very nice quick release system, I have to say. Although the knob is a little bit annoying because as you can see, it's, it's a little bit moving. And so sometimes, yeah, you have problems or it's a little bit annoying to move the, the plate inside as you saw, and you have to, to use the knob if you want to move it in easily, but if you know it, it's not that of a problem, I think. But uh, here I can also show you that we pla this plate is, for example, compatible to the 577 plate. Uh, yeah, All, only a little bit, uh, yeah, it's, it's a little bit too far at the front if you mount it, but it's usable on the original 577 plate. Yeah, let's get to the other side. Uh, we have here the release button, a little bit annoying sometimes, but it's working. And here we have the same problem like with the S2 head. There is no separate locking for the tilt control. But the big pro of, of this button is that it's it's working as promised or as you think that it's, it's working. Because as, as soon as you open it up completely, it's extremely easy to move the head. And so you can also make faster movements and it's really a drag control because you can control with drag very precise. And here is the big pro also over the S6 hat. This hat is very, very easy to control. There, you don't have to, to, to um, adjust it extremely precise. You don't have to think about, yeah, which load do I have? Uh, which counterbalance uh, step should I, should I choose from? For example, with the S6 hat, this is sometimes a little bit problematic and you have to test out which, which balance uh, you need. Uh, and yeah, although here again, as said, you only have one knob, so you're also lo losing your maybe already perfect drag you adjusted as soon as you, you want to lock your position. So this is, but this is also the problem with the 701 HDV and all other hats, which don't have a separate um, locking mechanism for the tilting. And yeah. But all in all, we had is very precise, especially vertically. But we also have a problem um, horizontally. And 
this is V1 and only Khan. Why I, I would choose V701 HDB over VS4 head. At least V2 S701. Yeah, I think. Yeah, two. I, I saw two heads, one in a shop, one at a friend. Um, both heads didn't have uh, a sit back. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, didn't have a sit back horizontally. And here the problem is the same like with the S2 head. There is a little bit of setback. So if you, as soon as you reach a, a position horizontally and um, yeah, you uh, remove your hand from the handle, uh, yeah, there is a, a one millimeter setback. And this is quite annoying, especially if you're using or if you're shooting with a longer focal length. And yeah, then you will see it, really, you will see it within your footage. You can, but there is one option which is possible, but a little bit annoying. You can move to the position you want horizontally and then use the locking of the horizontal uh, mechanism. And then it's, it stays there where you want, to, want it to stay. And as soon as you want to move on, get your hand to the handle, open up we, 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 um, this knob here for the handle's horizontal um, fixation. And then you can move on and so it's also possible to use this hat without a setback but it's a little bit annoying so this is we one and only point why i i would recommend the 701 hgb over the s4 hat but the problems are the same with the s4 hat no no uh, counterbalance spring control although the big pro is that here you have a counterbalance spring i will show you this as soon as you as you uh, here for example yeah it's moving back and so um, the head isn't falling to the front or to the back that easily, although don't expect that you can add the full four, four kilograms of payload and yeah, the head will still stay in position. For this kind of payload, I highly recommend to get the, the S6 head and this head, um, I think this head is uh, very usable for two, maybe up to three, three kilograms of payload and yeah. Okay, this was the uh, S4 head. By the way, there is also a, a kit available, the A2573 FS4 kit. And here is the, the kit, which is the, um, yeah, the first kit I want to recommend and I can recommend because uh, the only con, which is a little bit annoying, is the sit back. And otherwise the hat is very nice. It has a very nice build quality. And also the 2573 tripod, which is available together with this hat as a kit, is as big or is big enough and stable enough to use it with other accessories. So check it out, um, although I recommend to watch the S6 review, so the uh, S6 head review because, and we also watch the review of the tripod, which is, um, within, which is coming in a few minutes within the second part, because um, the S6 kit isn't that much more expensive and you have much more options with, with the S6 head. Okay, so this is the S4 hat, very nice hat, I have to say, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Now let's have a look at the S6. Well, so this is the last part of the hat reviews. By the way, this is the biggest one. This is the S6 hat with up to six kilograms of payload. And at this point, I have to mention already that this is absolutely the best hat up to 200 bucks. And I highly, highly recommend it over any other hat I, I ever saw, I ever used. Even we, we Sechtler, Sechtler Ace is, is not better or not that much better. Uh, although we Sechtler Ace, for example, has a, a adjustable um, panning control, which is, which is the one and only con of this hat here. Because here you have a fixed drag of the, the panning of the horizontal movements. Uh, but yeah, as, as already mentioned, this is really the best hat and you, you cannot compare it to a 701 HTV to a S4. You also cannot uh, compare it to a 502 HTV, by the way, because uh, for example, we 502 HTV don't have a, a adjustable counterbalance system as far as I remember. And the, the knobs are completely uh, a mess because you have the locking at the right side for the, the, the tilting and so on. And also the drag system is a, is a mess. So all in all, uh, functionality-wise and adjustability-wise, this hat is absolutely the best. And especially if you get it with together with the A3573F tripod, it's very, very cheap. So 
uh, if you're interested consider to buy this kit because then you get a very good and stable tripod for a very cheap price um, because we had itself is not that cheap i have to say and so it's better to get we kit by the way and yeah okay to get back to the vs6 hat um, i will show you why i prefer this hat absolutely over any hat up to 200 bucks so let's begin with the handle this is the handle as you can see here it's very stable it feels very solid it's much more rugged compared to to the s2 and the s4 handles here you can also adjust the distance of the handle very nice also padded and the padding as, as already mentioned is helping to to start and stop very smoothly you can adjust the, the angle of the handle you have a second position for your handle and you can also get a second handle if you want to have two handles mounted here we are also have um, we locking for the quick release plate as always and here is the first big huge pro of this hat you have a, a adjustable counterbalance uh, as soon as you uh, adjust the, the, the counterbalance uh, here to zero for example and move it over the middle then it's activated you have no counterbalance at all so this this hat is also very very nice to use with with small camcorders with with a system camera because you can disable the, the, the counterbalance uh, add a, a little bit more of drag and then it stays at the position and there's nothing moving anymore <clears throat> sorry okay and as soon as for example you want to add a camera which is a little bit bigger and you want a counterbalance um, like with the S4 hat for example you switch to one for example move it over the middle now it's activated and you see now you have a, a counterbalanced movement or force uh, activated and now it's compar comparable to the S4 hat for bigger cameras or you have uh, a rig or a complete rig with all the accessories as soon as you move it over the middle it's activated again and as you can see now now you have very very much of uh, also, so there is uh, a lot of force now of counterbalance of the counterbalance system and so this hat is not only usable with very big cameras it's also usable with very very lightweight and small cameras because you can dis it's even possible to disable the counterbalance and this is kind of a unique feature because Normally, we especially with cheaper hats with flat base mounts, by the way, here is also with flat base 3 to 8 inch mount. Especially 3 to 8 uh, inch flat base mount hats don't have such features. And so I, I, I like and, and I love this hat for this feature, really. Because um, otherwise you have to invest at least in a, in a Sackler Ace hat. And a Sackler Ace system is, is uh, available for around... 500 bucks or so or 600 bucks and this uh, as already mentioned only cost cost me 280 bucks together with a tripod so we have or nearly we have <clears throat> now let's get to the, the bottom a little bit uh, here you can see here are also the two two screws um, it's possible to park the two screws with three to eight inch screw and we we quarter inch screw here we have a leveling bubble and here is the big huge pro about this leveling bubble that you can um, uh, yeah illuminate it so it's possible uh, also at the night to illuminate this bubble but also here is a little bit uh, I think the bubble is is not 100% even glued in so this is this is the even position but as far as soon as you know that um, this position of the bubble is uh, is showing you the even position it's also not that of a problem it's much more important and nice to have that it's illuminated then we have here on this side uh, the release button as always and we already mentioned second place to mount your handle and here is the second big huge pro and I don't know why they didn't invent uh, or add this to, to, the, to the 701 HGV for example because um, this is really that helpful this is the locking knob or locking, locking pin uh, for the tilt control and as, as you see now you, you locked it, unlock it, and you still have the same fluid drag control as you, you've chosen before. And this is really that helpful, I have to say, because you can pre-adjust your fluid drag control, lock it in position, and it stays there. You want to move again, unlock it, 
and already hold your your handle for example and then you can move on and that's is that's really that nice to have really and i was that happy to have this feature compared to vs4 and the 701 hdv really uh, okay and here as already mentioned is the drag control although i have to say that with very high loads the problem is uh, for example with um, five six kilograms of load and very very um offset with offset loads the problem is a little bit that the fluid drag control is not that stiff i have to say so don't expect that you can use it with with six kilograms of payload especially if it's offset a little bit or if you have a bigger rig so this i, I only can recommend it for maybe up to five kilograms because i had i think five a little bit over five kilograms i had on it and this is i think the limit of of this head so yeah, okay. Here we also have uh, the locking for we we panning, so for the horizontal movements. And here is the big uh, next huge pro. This hat don't ha has any uh, any uh, setbacks. There is absolutely no setback. It's really 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 nice, smooth, usable. And although the only con is that it's not uh, um, dr the drag isn't adjustable. It's really nice to use and it's also not as stiff as the S4 and the S2 heads, I have to say. As you can see here, I can already move it with my fingers. That's not possible, I think, with the S2 and the S4. I didn't show it, but yeah, here, absolutely no setbacks. So now, as you saw, and um, I didn't show you the quick list system again, it's the same like with the S4 head, but uh, the summary, really, 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 um, I like it very much and um, it's highly recommendable, especially as already mentioned, together with the, the tripod as a kit, because it's also possible to get it with not that much money and you don't have to invest that much money. And you can also use the tripod for our other purposes, for example, for as a slider tripod, because it has a leveling base and so on. Well, so um, to, to, to summarize it, we as two had isn't the best option we s4 had is way better but you have you you, you don't have we 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 um counterbalance um adjustments you don't have we locking pin for we 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 um tilt yeah for we tilt control you don't have uh that much payload you you have a little bit of setbacks and this is also not the, all not the case with the s6 you have all the features you have a very cheap you have all for a very cheap price you have a 501 PL compatible hat and you can mount it anywhere. So I don't know if you, if there's any hat out there on the market, which is more, which I can, could recommend more than this hat here. Um, by the way, if you know one, send it to me and I <laughs> will review it and maybe compare it to VS6. Okay. Yeah. So this was the, the review of the S6 hat or the part of this review with the S6 hat. And now I will show you the A3573F tripod. Well, hello and welcome to the second part of this review in which I want to show you the A3573F tripod a little bit more in detail, as promised. This is the tripod I got together with the S6 hat called as the A3573F S6 kit. And yeah, as you can see already, I cannot show, show it to you unfolded because I tried, but I didn't find any place here in my small student flat to show you the complete tripod unfolded. So I hope that it's enough to show you the features and uh, to mention a little bit the pros and cons of the tripod. And yeah, okay. A few stats about the tripod. It, it's a three segment tripod out of aluminum. There is also a carbon fiber edition available, but the carbon fiber edition is much more expensive. I think 150 or 200 bucks more compared to this tripod kit here. And I have to say that um, it's maybe better to invest in, in or to save the money and invest in a, in a better tripod later because all in all the problem isn't the aluminium. The problem with cheaper tripods um, is more often that the locks are not as stable, the, the connections are not as stable, the materials which are used, the precision is not as, as good. 
And so I think all in all the aluminium tripod version is more than enough, especially because we, we uh, base is very stable, the locks are very, kind of very stable. And so, yeah, I think the aluminium edition is also more than enough. And also very nice is that um, if you unfold or, or if you only use one segment or let's say if you unfold only one segment, the tripod is already as high to use it for example, with the FS6 head on top, plus we, we a camera on top, and so you don't even need the, the, the third section or, uh, always. And um, as soon as you don't unfold the, the, the last sections uh, completely, the tripod is also very, very stable, I have to say. Especially, for example, compared to a um, 502 tripod, which I tested together with the 502 HTV hat, which was a mess. This one is more stable than this tripod. It's much more stable than a, a 055 Manfrotto, which is quite popular, or a 190 more, 190 Pro and so on, which, is, uh, which are also quite popular and which are all in all quite unstable. And so, yeah, all in all, I can say for this price point, this tripod is very, very nice. But uh, now I, I want to show you a little bit of the features. As you can see here, it has a middle tube, and with this middle tube, um, you can adjust it to the you can adjust the height quite easily. So you don't, also don't have, as already said, you don't have to unfold the the third section if you don't want to. And this is very nice because let's say you are in a very tight, uh, you, you don't have much space to to use your tripod, and. Yeah, with many, um, with, this, with a classical video tripod, you, you need the space for the tripod. Here you, you unfold it, not completely, use the, the middle tube, and then you, you can shoot, at least it's possible to shoot. And the lock on top for the middle tube is also very stable, I have to say. And, and uh, if you lock it down properly, and you need to lock it down properly, by the way, um, it's also very stiff and stable. The next point I wanted to mention is that um, you also have a protection ring here, so we, we, we um, yeah, tubes here on, on, will not get uh, damaged. You have a, a hook here in the middle, now you can see it, so you can also add um, uh, your bag or so, so the, the tripod is standing more stable. You have also here a hook to add uh, a little bit of weight if you want to. Here is, uh, this is I think, uh, uh, yeah, locking mechanism for for uh, cables and so uh, very nice features I have to say. It's also padded on one side, so um, if it's cold outside, you, yeah, you don't feel the very cold aluminium. Although um, <clears throat> and okay, the last big pro is the leveling base. The leveling base is very nice to use because um, you, it's also dampened a little bit, so it's not falling uh, off or nearly apart uh, as soon as you unlock it and you have I think <coughs> sorry I think there is a plus minus 15 degree leveling possible and it's very easy to lock it down although I have to say you have to lock it down very stiff so it's it's also um, staying in place with very high offset loads um, but this is the, one of the only cons of this base here but all in all um, there is also a second con maybe the the coating is not the best or it's maybe not that comparable to, to uh, <clears throat> especially with the basalt or other carbon fiber tripods because here it's very easy to get, to get uh, scratches. So don't expect that you get the best coating and the best quality and don't, don't think that this uh, can replace any gitso or so because <clears throat> also uh, replacement part wise for example these tripods are not as good because it's not that easy to get replacement parts and yeah but all in all for this price point it's a very very nice tripod by the way this version here the, the F versions are have normal clip locks um, I think that good clip locks are also acceptable and I think good clip locks uh, on cheap tripods are, are better than than cheap uh, screw locks on, on, on such tripods and so all in all, it's uh, very easy to use. You don't have to think about the rotation, direction of the, the screw locks and so on. So also very easy to use for people which are yeah, not trained with the tripod, for example. 
Okay, I think that's uh, enough for the tripod. If you don't, if you have any questions about the tripod, yeah, just ask. I have it here. And yeah, this was the second part. And within the third part, I will show you now a little bit of footage shot with the S6 and with the S4 head. As said already within the introduction, I will not show you any, any footage of the S2 head because the S2 head has too many cons and there are too many problems with the S2 head. Yeah, so okay, stay tuned. Um, now I will show you a little bit of footage.